welcome to Diecast Restos. My name is Jason and this is a Matchbox 28G Formula 5000. It was also known as and sold in boxes marked with Formula Racing Car. This casting began life during the Lesney Matchbox Superfast era. It was numbered 36E and launched in 1975. Originally, it was orange and had number 3 and Formula 5000 decals attached. Here is an example of my Formula 5000 in perfect condition. I've opted to restore this casting today as rather unusually, I stumbled upon the decals before the actual model. I really liked the quality of the reproductions by black square decals, so I went out of my way to find a 28G version. This one was waiting to be sent to landfill. It doesn't look in that bad a state, but it was smothered in some sort of sticky residue like jam or something else sweet and sugary. Nowhere was this more evident than the indent at the rear below the wing. The engines on the original 36E Formula 5000s were far less detailed than the later 28G. Drivers in the cockpit of the orange car could be yellow or pale blue. In 1977, the body colour changed to red, while the labels remained the same. Then, later the same year, the graphics were removed and replaced with branded decals. The front wing had Texaco and Goodyear branding, teamed with the number 11, while the rear wing had a Marlboro sticker. The Marlboro decal was hastily replaced with the Champion Spark Plugs logo for 1978. I wonder if these stickers had anything to do with the McLaren Formula 1 car of the era. It's quite a coincidence. I mention the McLaren Formula 1 team because in 1976, British driver James Hunt won the World Championship driving the Marlboro, Texaco and Goodyear sponsored McLaren M23, wearing the number 11 no less. The M23 was more white than red, with highlights of papaya orange, but it certainly looks like Lesney attempted to cash in on a British F1 success story. I couldn't find anything to verify this, but it does seem likely. The Marlboro branding being dropped may have also resulted from questions as to whether cigarette advertising on a children's toy was all that appropriate. But the replacement champion decals lasted on the model from 1978 to 1980, when the casting was discontinued. It returned to production in 1981, now situated at number 28G in the range. It was coloured a light metallic brown with a white driver. The decals had Exxon and BF Goodrich branding, with black and white shapes and patterns surrounding the number 8. The model transcended Lesney's bankruptcy and subsequent rebranding as Matchbox International under Universal Toys. Like my one, production moved to Macau for a year until it was dropped in 1983. The casting was an unlicensed flight of fantasy model, but it did closely resemble the real Formula 5000 race cars of the era. Formula 5000 was an open wheel, single seat racing formula that ran from 1968 until 1982. It was intended to be a low cost series that offered a maximum engine capacity of 5000cc. Formula 5000 championships took place across the globe and manufacturers included Chevron, Eagle, Lotus and March. The most successful Formula 5000 cars included McLaren, but most successful were Lola. The casting has many similarities to the Lola F5000 cars of the mid 70s, with its large airbox towering over the driver, wide front wing and large rear wing. The British company had produced race cars from their founding in 1958 until its financial demise in 2012. Now these are my reproduction decals I acquired preemptively from Black Square decals. I shall leave a link in the description to the store. I couldn't quite believe the accuracy of these to the factory applied markings. The shapes and branding are spot on, though I do think the number 8's are mirrored, but that is really being picky. I had wondered whether I should customise or even Resto Plus this example. I think it would look good with a painted up driver and some detailing to the exhaust end. I suspect it would look really good with some custom wheels too. However, I'm hoping to do more and more genuine restorations on Superfast models, 
so I can't pass up an opportunity to do so when some excellent reproduction decals like these appear. Anyway, this casting is reaching the final stages of preparation prior to reassembly. After those decals have been given a moment to set, I cover the entire body with Mr. Mark's softer solution. I haven't mentioned the paint yet. I thought that this champagne gold from Tamiya would be a good substitute for a light metallic brown. But you'll have to let me know in the comments about what you think when the transition reveals the difference. Right, so this, as it turns out, is a really difficult model to reassemble. It is ever so fiddly to hold the axles and driver in place while attempting to lever in the base. With some luck, the engine clips into a slot that firmly holds it in position. Eventually, that lovely gloss black base sorts itself out and is secured with an M2 screw at the front rivet post. So this is my 28G or 36E Formula 5000 or Formula racing car as it started out. It wasn't too visibly damaged or particularly warranting the TLC that it received, but the horrible sticky hair laden mess beneath the rear wing meant it called for a refresh. It otherwise just needed a general tidy up and a re-chroming of that plastic engine. And so now, here's how my Formula 5000 looks. As I said before, the champagne gold is a bit lighter than the metallic brown that previously coated this casting, but it certainly works. The reproduction decals from Black Square are outrageously accurate. A link to their store is in the description. The dot dash wheels and the plastic fading engine have been recoated in Molotow Chrome, while that black base plate has had all that stickiness removed, replaced by a glossy coat of TS14. I'm really happy with the overall look of this one. Hopefully the paint issue will be resolved once I finally get an airbrush sorted in due course. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do by visiting my Patreon or YouTube membership pages, links are below. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment and hit the subscribe button for more. Check out my Instagram for all the latest, but that just leaves me to say thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.